In this video, we can discuss about microbial growth curve and the different factors which will affect the growth of microorganism. Before going to the growth curve, let us discuss what is microbial growth. Growth or cultivation of a bacteria is defined as a systematic progressive increase in the cellular component. So from this we can understand that the increasing cell component may be of two types either by increasing the cell weight or mass or by increasing the cell number. So in a balanced growth, what is balanced growth? It is defined as two-fold increase of each biochemical unit of the cell within the prevailing time period by a single division without having slightest change in the rate of growth. Now coming to the binary fission. So let us discuss how bacteria growth will occur. The most commonest method of bacterial cultivation is binary fission. What is mean by binary fission? The one cell will give rise to two cells. That is the binary fission. So, the enhancement in the population is given by following a geometric progression. That means one cell will give to two and two cell will give to four cells and four cell will give to eight cells like that. So, in a ratio of two raise to n, where n is the number of generation. After how many generation? this will be the population so uh, we can uh, find out the no total number of cell after n population that will be 2 raised to n population get doubled at a regular interval time taken to get double is known as generation time and it will be occur under the incubation now coming to the normal growth curve or growth cycle of a microorganism the growth of microorganism can be of different type. So if we are giving continuously fresh nutrient to a culture of microorganism, it will always keep on dividing and it will always keep the number up. So in that type, uh, the growth will be an, in, in an exponential manner. To study the growth pattern, we have to find out the theoretical number of microorganism and we have to plot a graph. We can plot the graph in two ways. Either logarithmic number of microorganism versus time or arithmetic number of microorganism of the versus time. So let's see what is the difference. So if we are plotting a, a graph with the number of cells versus minute of incubation, we will get a graph like curved. And if we are plotting the same graph with the log number of cell versus minutes of incubation, we will get a graph with a straight line. So this is the difference between two type of graph. Now coming to growth curve in a closed system. What is closed system? The closed system are a culture of microorganism in which we will not add any culture media during the incubation period. So we will give one culture media and we will add some uh, known number of suspension of microorganism and we will uh, study the engine number of microorganism in different time intervals and we will not add any culture media in between that. That is known as uh, closed system. In that we will plot a graph between logarithmic number of viable cell versus incubation time. So if we plot a graph of logarithmic number of viable cell versus incubation time we will get a graph with four distinct phase and this phase is uh, initial a lag phase will be there after that an exponential phase then an stationary phase and death phase so these are the four phases lag phase exponential phase stationary phase and death phase or decline phase or phase of decline so here let's see what will happen uh, as the time progress there will be a initial one phase in which there will not be any num uh, increasing number of microorganism 
after that uh, for some time there will be a maximum number of cell increase after that the cell number will remain stationary and then uh, it will leads to death phase or in which the number of able cell will decreases now let's see what are the different phases and what are the reason for these phases now coming to the first phase lag phase this is the first phase when an microorganism is introduced into an fresh media the initially there will be no immediate increasing cell number that phase is known as lag phase there will be a lag uh, before uh, the increasing number of phase so in this phase there will not be any increasing number but there will be an increasing cell size or cell mass so this is the time that required for an organism to adapt to with the new environment we are provided and in this period uh, the microorganism will produce necessary enzyme as well as metabolic intermediates which are required for the reproduction in the exponential phase and the phase duration of lag phase is uh, vary with the species size of inoculum nature of culture media environmental factors such as temperature so these are the different factor which will uh, increase or decrease the duration of lag phase let's see what are the reason for lag phase initially there uh, will be a depletion of atp as well as the cell may be old so that uh, in the first phase uh, it is essential uh, cofactor ribosome and uh, atps has to be synthesized and uh, second reason is the medium may be different from previous one third one it is the time required for the recovery of injured cells so these are the different factors for lag phase now coming to the second phase exponential phase or log phase it will be a uh, grow and division at a maximal rate uh, and the rate of uh, growth will be always constant that means the microorganism are dividing and doubling in the number at regular interval and exponential growth is usually balanced growth because there will be sufficient uh, amount of nutrients as well as there will be uh, less uh, metabolic end product so that will be an in a balanced growth pattern it will divide at regular interval and further uh, there will be an increasing number of microorganism or viable cell now if anything happen to the nutrient level or other environmental condition like incubation temperature is changed uh, it will leads to unbalanced growth that is the second phase the maximum division as well as maximum num increasing number of cell will occur in exponential or log phase now coming to the third phase stationary phase in this uh, it will follow after the exponential phase so it will come to an next phase stationary phase here the cell division will decrease or cell division will stop and this uh, stoppage of cell division is due to many reason like there will be a limited nutrient supply and there will be a limited oxygen supply availability and there will be an accumulation of toxic waste product due to the uh, metabolic reaction happened during the exponential phase and there will be a depletion in the sugar supply and in this phase the critical population will be reached the critical population means uh, there will be an 109 uh, cells per ml that is the critical population level of an ideal culture so after reaching the uh, 109 cell per ml population uh, automatically the cell division will decreases or stop in this phase total number of viable microorganism remain constant that means number of progeny cell formed will be equal to number of cell death now coming to the fourth phase death phase or phase of decline in this phase the metabolic end product will increases and nutrient supply will decreases so it will leads to irreversible loss of an ability to reproduce that is known as death so the environmental change may be leads to a uh, build up of toxic waste and uh, as well as there will be a uh, declining the number of viable cell which will leads to death phase and death phase of microbial population is logarithmic like its growth during the exponential phase so after uh, some time it will not follow the logarithmic pattern this is all about bacterial growth curve and frequently asked question 
seen in the question paper as uh, may be asked for any uh, phases or for bacterial growth curve. Now coming to the next part of this topic, uh, what are the di different physical parameter or factors that are affecting growth of bacterial growth? Factors are temperature, pH, oxygen concentration, pressure, radiation, osmotic pressure, presence of solute in surrounding environment, carbon dioxide and light. These are the different factors. Now let's discuss each one in detail. First one is temperature. The rate of growth of microorganism mainly depend on the minimum, optimum and maximum cardinal temperature. So this may vary with different species of microorganism. Usually it range from 0 to 75 degree Celsius. The microorganism can be classified according to the optimum temperature for their growth as uh, psychrophiles psychrotropes, mesophiles, thermophiles and hyperthermophiles. Psychrophiles are microorganisms which will grow an optimum temperature of 0 to 15 degrees Celsius and examples are Colvillia psychrothera, then Flavobacterium psychrophila. Next one is psychrotropes. Uh, this will grow an optimum temperature of 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. Pseudomonas fluorescence are example. Next one is mesophile. They will grow at an optimum temperature of 20 to 45 degrees Celsius. Example of uh, Listeria monocytogens as well as Pseudomonas maltophilia. Then thermophiles which will grow at an optimum temperature of 55 to 65 degrees Celsius. And hypothermophiles 80 to 113 degrees Celsius. So this is the classification of microorganism according to the optimum temperature for the growth of microorganism. Now second factor is pH. So each species of microorganism uh, has a definite pH growth range or pH optimum. Bacteria and protozoa are usually neutrophiles. They will live more on uh, neutral pH and fungi are uh, grow in slightly acidic pH around 4 to 6. Algae also in uh, slightly acidic pH. And prokaryotic cell uh, will die uh, if it is come below 5 to 5.5 pH. And the drastic variation in the cytoplasmic pH can harm the microorganism by disrupting the plasma membrane or by inhibiting the activity of enzyme and membrane transport proteins. And the change in external pH may lead to alteration of ionization of nutrients molecule as well as this will lead to reduce their availability to the microorganism and the, usually the microorganism will change the pH of their own habit by producing acidic or basic metabolic end product during their uh, metabolic reactions or during their growth to in order to uh, prevent the uh, growth inhibition usually buffers are added to the culture media uh, most commonly used buffer is phosphate buffer. So that is all about pH. Coming to the classification of microorganism according to the optimum pH, it is classified into acidophiles, neutrophiles, alkalophiles and extremely alkalophiles. Acidophile will grow an optimum uh, pH of 0 to 5.5 and neutrophile 5.5 to 8, alkalophile 8.5 to 11.5 and extremely alkalophile uh, above 10 pH. Coming to next factor that is pressure. According to the optimum pressure, the microorganism can be classified as barotolerant, non-barotolerant, barophilic and thermophilic. Barotolerant are the microorganisms which are tolerant to high pressure. Non-barotolerants are uh, microorganisms which cannot tolerate high pressure and barophilic uh, which will uh, grow more rapidly at high pressure and thermobarophils. They will grow uh, rapidly at high temperature and high pressure. So that is the uh, factors of pressure that will affect the growth of microorganism. Next one is uh, oxygen presentation or oxygen concentration. Uh, according to the uh, uh, optimum concentration requirement, microorganism can be classified as obligative aerobes, 
facultative anaerobes and aerotolerant anaerobes, obligative anaerobes and microphiles. So let's discuss uh, obligative anaerobes first. So these are the microorganisms which are completely depend on the oxygen. Examples are mycobacteria and micrococcus. Second one is facultative anaerobe which do not require oxygen for their growth but grow better in the presence of oxygen. Examples are E. coli, enterococcus and saccharomyces. And next one is aerotolerant which will grow equally in well in presence or absence of oxygen. Example is streptococcus pyogens. Next one is obligative anaerobes. Do not tolerate oxygen and die in presence of oxygen. Example is Clostridium bacterioides as well as methanobacteria. Then microphiles which require oxygen level below 2 to 10 percentage for their growth and it is damaged by atmospheric oxygen. Example is Combylobacter and Trypanoma palladium. So this is the classification of microorganism according to the oxygen requirement. Now coming to next factor radiation. So some radiation may cause harmful to microbial growth like X-ray, gamma rays and UV rays. In low level this radiation will cause mutation but in high level it may cause lethal effect or death of microorganism and the lethal effect are due to the breaking of hydrogen bond or destruction of ring structure or polymerization of molecule or destruction of DNA or tryptophan breakdown to form toxic products. Now coming to the next factor that is osmotic pressure. So cell wall of the bacteria are usually able to withstand wide range of uh, external osmotic pressure. On the basis of osmotic concentration of the substance, the microorganism can be classified as below that is osmophobic, osmophilic, halophilic and osmoduric. Now first one is osmophobic. These are the microorganisms which will die of dehydration in high osmotic concentration. And next one is osmophilic. They will grow. This organism will best grow in high osmotic concentration. Next one is halophilic. They will preferably grow in high osmotic concentration produced by dissolved salt. And osmoduric. These are the microbes that will grow normally on the substrate of moderate osmotic concentration but prove to be resistant to wide osmotic changes. So that is another factor osmotic pressure. Now coming to the last factor carbon dioxide. Most of the microorganisms require carbon dioxide uh, in small quantity for the growth of microorganism uh, which are a product of cellular metabolism or by carbon dioxide present in the atmosphere are used for the growth of microorganism. And last one is light. The bacteria except phototropic species usually grow in darkness. So that is all about the different factors affecting growth of microorganism. Now these are the questions which are seen from this topic uh, right about the lag phase in the bacterial growth for 2 marks, bacterial growth curve for 5 marks, factors affecting bacterial growth for 5 marks, physical condition required for the microbial growth for 5 marks. So hope it is clear. Thank you for watching this video.